हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून गुड इवनिंग सो दिस इज अबाउट द मणिपाल काउंसलिंग 2024 फुल डिटेल्स एंड आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द रजिस्ट्रेशन एज वेल एज द चॉइस फिलिंग ऑल द डिटेल्स व्हिच हैज बीन प्रोवाइडेड पार्ट ऑफ द इंफॉर्मेशन ब्रोशर राइट सो स्टार्टिंग विद दिस इज द ईमेल व्हिच यू वुड हैव गॉट फ्रॉम द मणिपाल एंड मणिपाल एकेडमी ऑफ हायर एजुकेशन एमआईए about the brochure as well as the counseling registration process right so you should note that the last date for counseling registration is 11th june and there is not much time which is now left so everybody who wants to attend the manipal counseling should do the uh, registration for the counseling on this website counseling.manipal.edu and only 3 days are left so this is the document uh, which talks about the different process and i will tell with the dates so first point important is you should know there are four colleges which are participating in this met counseling so first college is the manipal institute of technology mit which is there in manipal which is called the main campus and manipal institute of technology is affiliated to mahe which is manipal academy of higher education that is the university The second college is Sikkim Manipal Institute Technology (SMIT), which is affiliated to Sikkim Manipal University. So, this college (SMIT) has nothing to do with Manipal Institute of Technology in Karnataka, which is Bangalore or Manipal Main Campus, because this college is affiliated with Sikkim Manipal University. So, you should understand this college will have different placement from Manipal Institute of Technology. third college is called manipal university jaipur again this college is different from manipal institute of technology in karnataka because this is a separate private university established under act of rajasthan government correct so you should understand mit is different muj is different they don't have common placements next college is the list is manipal institute of technology bangalore now this mit bangalore is part of the main M mit which is in manipal itself right and both are part of the manipal academy of higher education so you hope you understood clearly that smit and manipal university jaipur are different from the other two colleges which are in karnataka now the second important thing you should also understand the courses which are offered there so you can see this is for the latest one for this year all the four campuses courses applicable are mentioned here so if you see in computer side there are large number of courses and seats and you can see here your branches are like computer science engineering computer science and communication computer science and technology computer science and all those campuses where it is available and similarly there are two more courses right at the bottom you see maths and computing that is also part of computer science department robotics and artificial intelligence this call like uh, course in manipal university jaipur is also part of computer science department so you can understand around 20 branches 815 to 20 branches are there related with computer science and lots of seats are available but you will have to work hard to get a decent placement because these branches are available in different you know campuses you can see here so all of these are computer science and apart from that you also see chemical engineering and the civil engineering in this sheet along with the campuses where they are available now let's move to the next department next department is electrical and within electrical also campus wise uh, the different branches are mentioned you can see that cyber physical system is part of the electrical department it is not a branch related with computer science next is the electrical and electronics triple e electronics and communication ece is part of the electrical department and then electrical and computer engineering is also part of electrical department so there is no electronics department in manipal there is only electrical department where you they teach all the subjects which is like electronics and computer electronics and instrumentation electronics engineering vlsi design and mechatronics and the mechatronics dual degree so though the name says mechatronics it is not related with mechanical but it is part of the electrical department now the last department you see is mechanical department where all the other branches are clubbed so you can see aeronautical engineering automobile engineering and 
then mechanical engineering core and mechanical engineering with dual degree program so all are part of mechanical department now the overall counseling procedure so it will start with registration which i am discussing now and choice filling second activity is choice filling third process is seat allotment i will show the dates of all of this next activity is the course fees payment so there will be two installment first installment and second installment and i will talk about them also provisional admission order will be released to candidates and those students who don't get seats or they got seat but they want to move into the second or third round then they will be done something called wait listing and um, hostel booking uh, will be followed by fees payment right so the first activity as mentioned you have to got the login and password you have to do registration on counseling.manipal.edu which is the main website and if you see the counseling um, registration part of it you, you, first is you have to do give the you know 10000 rupees as a counseling registration fees counseling registration fees is not refundable if you get the seat if you get any seat in any round they will not return 10000 but if you don't get any seat in any round then they will refund it so that is the uh, 10,000 rupees risk, right? A lot of people are asking question about the 10,000 rupees. 10,000 will be returned only if you don't get seat. And similarly for the students who get the seat, right? They will have to pay the first installment of 2,40,000. So irrespective of which branch you are joining, everybody who is allotted the seat will have to pay 2,40,000 as a first installment. And the second installment is basically the rest of the amount depending on the course fees, right? For computer and CSE, the rest of the amount is same. But for the other core branches like mechanical and uh, civil, etc., the second installment will be smaller number or smaller amount you have to pay after 240,000, uh, whatever is left, you have to pay as a second installment. So now the most important dates, right? So, so registration started from 7th June to 11th June. Seat allotment will be done between 12th June and 13th June. First round online seat allotment results will be out, right? So counseling will be done in two days, but the result will be out on 13th June after 8 p.m. So you should get the email directly from the Manipal Academy of Higher Education. If you are not getting email, then you should go and log in on this counseling portal and you will see the results there, right? And what branch you are allotted. Then by 13th to 18th June, you have to pay the course fees and then between 20 and up to 28th June, you have to pay the second installment full fees, right? So that is how the first round of counseling will be done online way. Now the second round of counseling, you will have to do a first registration and choice filling. That means student who have not registered for the first round can also do the first registration in the second round directly. But if you have done the registration in the first round, then you don't need to pay the registration fees because you are already there in the uh, you know choice filling and you are modifying and uh, getting to the next round, right? So the date for registration and modifying the option entry is between 21st June and 22nd June and processing of seat allotment or will be done again on the 24th June after 8 p.m. So you will be allotted the seat or after 8 p.m. on 24th June. First installment you have to pay between 24th, uh, 24th June and 1st July. Then the next installment you will have to pay up to 9th July. So second installment. This is I am talking about the round 2 counseling. And after that there will be third round of counseling based on the vacant six which are there available. Right. Overall in, in all the four campuses put together. So the third round of counseling refresh registration will start around 4th and 5th July. Then modifying the choices, uh, uh, all thing will be done between 4th and 5th July. Then the processing of seat allotment will be done on 6th and 7th July. And the result will be declared on 7th July after 8 p.m. 
and that way your thasta drawdown of cost link will also be over and the payment of course fees which is the first installment for the third round student will be between 7th july and 11th july and then the balance fees payment of the which will be the second round fees payment will be done up to 15th july and after 15th july your academic course or the first year classes will start along with your orientation program so that is the last date to which all the three rounds of counseling will be over and that's our overall process uh, for counseling thanks for watching and uh, please do subscribe channel to get similar updates on all the proceedings of money